Hello. Let me just adjust. Oh, well, hello, everybody. So I just got done on Clubhouse, and today we are going to talk all about Pinterest's 2021 Creators um, Festival. And it's really exciting. Hello, Christy. Um, so I, I'm going to give you the things that stood out to me. Um, the first thing on October 20th, was, was, which was when Peter Cre Pinterest's Creators Festival came out, before it started, and it was at 11 a.m. my time here on the West Coast, um, the news released the fact that PayPal is in talks with purchasing for purchasing Pinterest. And it was crazy and exciting all at the same time. So Pinterest basically, here's the key points. Pinterest is in late stage talks to be acquired by PayPal, a source familiar with the matter told CNBC who broke the news. Shares of Pinterest soared on Wednesday after Bloomberg's report first report came out that PayPal may acquire the social media company. PayPal has discussed acquiring the company for a potential price of around 70 dollars a share, which would value Pinterest at about $39 billion, according to Bloomberg. I was shocked at that valuation. I'm not a, an expert in that area in any way, but I still thought that was a really high valuation. I value Pinterest, so of course I think it's worth that, that price. Um, and obviously, because the price of shares soared um, on that Bloomberg reported, it means that that's kind of good news for people that invest in Pinterest. What it would potentially mean for us creators on Pinterest is that more money is going to get given, you know, get go into that company and potentially more options will come for us. So I'm looking at it as potentially good news um, because Pinterest is a very large also sort of search engine for purchases, um, products and services and everything. I think that it kind of makes sense that PayPal would be the person who's looking to purchase um, Pinterest to get in that sort of social media game. Um, but it was interesting nonetheless. And um, so in terms of, I'm going to have on my website also links to that article as well as links for uh, for you to be able to rewatch that Creators Festival and have your own opinion. Um, the thing that I heard throughout was that idea pins are here to stay. Uh, a lot of us creators who've been around and creating on Pinterest since the beginning of time uh, felt that it may be a flash in the pan because it doesn't have a link going directly to your website like all the other pins on Pinterest. Um, but what we found is they're they appear to be going all in. Um, idea pins were formerly story pins. They've been around for a couple years and um, they are helping what Pinterest wants to do is to have more engagement on its site. And that's what they help to do. Because when you click on an idea pin, it goes to your profile. People then can follow you. They can look at your boards and other content. It They are really effective for you as a marketer on Pinterest. Um, but a lot of people have been dragging their feet because they think it takes too much time or it is... Um, it's just new, right? Uh, but I do have a free option for you to learn how to do idea pens the most effective way. Um, and all you have to do is in my in my uh, DMs, just type replay, and you should get delivered um, the video of my masterclass that I did on that. So back to Pinterest. Um, it's really exciting. I feel like. Um, as with last year, this year, they were big on inspiration, feel good, positivity, affirmation, and inclusivity. Um, Pinterest is known by creators and also Pinterest itself says that it's the most positive corner of the internet. And it's not at all, it doesn't make you feel feel bad like other social media platforms can, um, it gives you inspiration. It gives you opportunity to do something yourself and to learn and grow as a human being. And so I, I felt that throughout the creator's um, 
festival this year as well as last year also. Um, ads, I've heard from a very reliable source. Uh, a lot of people have been asking about idea pin ads. Um, I personally teach on how to um, drive traffic and everything uh, without ads, but a lot of people have been wanting to know how they can go ahead and do ads also. And um, it looks like, they did not mention this at the Creators Festival, but this is something that everyone has been talking about. It looks like um, that ads might be coming for idea pins in around February. So um, if you were looking or wanted to be able to do ads, that's kind of when that potentially should be coming out. Um, but the whole Creators Festival, I mean, it opened up and it started with talking about, you know, making it means making money. And I feel like with this Creators Festival, they've really to my opinion, have recognized us creators and all the work that we put in to make Pinterest such an amazing place and to provide all of that content for Pinterest. Um, and to that end, they've done that by having, you know, shoppable products they released, which was big, that you can now put um, Amazon affiliate links uh, on pins, which is amazing. Um, that wasn't working so well before when people tried to do it. Um, it didn't get very, very seen. And now it's allowing you to do it in a very easy, simple way. Um, and with brand partnerships, being able to tag people also in your idea pins, which by the way, um, I also have a wedding photography business and tagging all of the vendors at the, my wedding for things that I'm um sharing on Pinterest has helped me to actually grow on Pinterest to grow on Pinterest as well. So make sure you take advantage of those options. The other thing that they rolled out is their program uh, for creator rewards. That was really exciting. Now, just to let you know, I don't have the opportunity for monetization yet. Um, nobody I know has it yet. It seems to be a very small group of um, influencers, on Pinterest, uh, but it their their intention is to roll it out. Um, I think that they Pinterest has recognized that we're putting a lot of content on there so that we can get potential clients. Pinterest needs a lot of content, and I think that they, at least in this Creators Festival, seem to really recognize us um, as helping them. And to that end, Pinterest says that they're investing $20 million into the Creators Reward Program, which is a big step up uh, from the 500000 that it allocated to its Creator Fund initiative earlier this year. Um, that's really exciting. Um, it will be on the Creator this is what I understand. It'll be on the Creators Hub, which is only on your app on your phone, the Pinterest app on your phone. When you go to your um, profile, it should it will be there. It is slowly rolling out. Not all of my clients have it yet, so if you don't have it yet, don't worry. Um, but on there, your it says Creators Hub. It shows all of the trends, which is exciting. Your analytics, and um, it's really cool when you dive deep into the like. For me, I dove into the wedding trend area and it tells you specifically what's trending now like fall bouquets and things of that nature so that was really exciting to have and somewhere in there they're going to have an earn tab um, and then you'll click to be able to apply like any other type of affiliate or paid program right um, that's really exciting and I think um, it's it's really good. Sorry, I'm reading my notes. Make sure I don't miss out on anything. Um, so, and so basically engagement is going to be big. They want people engaging. They've added stickers. They've added try on. They've added a whole bunch of other things to make idea pins really fun and exciting. Um, and the, I, the updates for idea pins um, are preview mode, which is amazing. Um, oftentimes people forget about the safe zone around the outside when they're creating their pin. And so this way, as you're creating it, 
you can preview it before you publish it because you can't edit idea bins. So um, to be able to preview it before you publish it is amazing. They did video splitting of the music. So it, it um, video splitting, um, excuse me, video splitting, which is that you can put a long video for an idea pin and it'll make multiple pages of 60 seconds. Be cautious, and that's only on the iOS at this point app on, on your cell phone. Um, so if you make things in um, uh, Canva, you'll want to send it to your phone to be able to upload, uh, to be able to utilize that. Also, continuous music. You can now add one song continuously across the idea pin. It used to be that they would attach music to one slide, and then you'd have to go in and attach music to the other slide and find out where that split is. It was a pain. Um, so they've recognized that. Again, those are all on iOS. Preview mode is on iOS and Android on your cell phone. Desktop is totally different, so heads up on that. Um, and then you can also reply to idea pins on your mobile device. So creators can reply to a comment on an idea pin with an idea pin. Um, it's called takes, um, very similar. Uh, I'm gonna go back up to my notes here. It's pretty interesting because it is a, almost identical to um, TikTok or Reels, where you look at a Reel and then you slide up and you look at a Reel and you slide up. And it's called, first of all, it's called Watch Tab. Very familiar to TikTok and Instagram, sort of a never ending uh, stream of idea pens. Right now, mine ended. So it's not fully fleshed out yet. And it's not really um, a good, it's not really curated to me which I'm okay with, like on TikTok and Instagram, you can like dive deep and get in a rabbit hole and never come out. Um, but it's not, it's really a mix of all different kinds of idea pens, not just people that you follow. It's sort of like a, a mini feed, if you will. Uh, I don't know if they'll get better and curate it to us. Um, as Jana pointed out in the clubhouse room earlier today. She's another Pinterest expert that I love. Um, she mentioned that she's happy that it's um, a total mix because then you can discover new content and new things, which is exciting. Now back to takes. So takes is if you toggle a button in the um, on the app, Pinterest app on your cell phone, and you toggle the button on your idea pin to allow takes, what that means is you have an idea pin on XYZ. Someone can do their take on that XYZ in their own idea pin. And the cool thing is that's an idea pin for their content also, but then it also comes on the bottom left of your idea pin. So you'll have different takes of different things that people have done. The cool thing about this is you can go ahead and do your take on someone's idea pin and it ends up getting connected to their idea pin also so that their viewers can potentially look at your idea pin. It's a great way of getting your content out there to more people. So go check out an idea pin that you love or that you think you can do a take on basically your try. Um, and figure out if that's if that helps your analytics. It'll be very interesting to um, consider. So let's see. Uh, the other thing is, let's the watch tab and the browse. And um, they're very into engagement. Pinterest wants us to engage. They've given stickers and you can comment on idea pens again on your um, iOS or your, your cell phone device. Um, they're also making improvements to the search landing page. Pinterest made improvements to help make content more discoverable. So the Today tab will be moving to its own home on the search landing page called Today's Inspiration, which will be overhauled to be a creator and native content discovery surface with new modules such as Ideas from creators, which will be idea pins, right? Um, that's very cool. And um, and then there's the creator hub. So on your app, on your profile, you'll see a creator hub. If you don't, it's getting slowly released to people. Uh, and 
it's cool because you have all kinds of trends and things on there to, to give you inspiration for creating more stuff. And Pinterest also expanded the product tagging tool to include the Amazon Associates program. So if you are an Amazon Associate, this is a great way because I have tried to do affiliate links on pins and they've not done very well. Um, I don't believe that they wanna share it with a lot of people. Now they're giving us a way to do that, um, which again points back to really helping creators have more options, more uh, tools and things to be able to do better on Pinterest. So that's all I have. If anyone has a question for me that I can answer, I'd be happy to answer it. Just go ahead and put it in the, um, in here. I'm not seeing anything yet. So as of right now, I will see you. No, oh, Christy, do you have to be in the creator business category to get new creator hub benefits? So when you say creator business category, if you are a, if you have a business Pinterest profile, you can create content, you're considered a creator. Um, there is a place on Pinterest where you apply to be able to be a creator, quote unquote, and get, um, you have to sign this thing that says you're going to do idea pens once a month and a whole bunch of other things. Um, and then I guess you're officially called a creator, that's when you're getting all of the information in your email from the newsletter, how I found out about the Creators Festival, how I got invited to the Creators Festival. So for the Creators Hub, that might be a reason why some of my clients don't have the Creator Hub button on their um, cell phone app for Pinterest. Um, it may be that they haven't applied to be that official creator, but everyone is considered a creator that adds a pin to Pinterest. So I'm not quite sure about that. That's an incredibly great question. And I will actually test that theory uh, tomorrow in my um, pin, my Pinterest group coaching program. Um, we meet on Mondays and Thursdays. Mondays are Q&As and Thursdays are pinning sessions. But we all get together on a Zoom call so I can help with any questions they have. And I'm going to be working with one of my clients that doesn't have the creator hub yet to try to figure out how we can get that for her and I will go ahead and um, make sure that she's applied for creator and see if then it pops up that's very interesting uh, question and I wish I had a specific answer for you but I don't because I will always be honest um, but I will come back on on my Instagram and make a post of some kind if I find that that's how they end up getting um, the Creator Hub on their app. That's very good information. Uh, all right, well, I hope everyone has a good day. I hope you follow along on Instagram. If you're not yet following me, follow along. I do have some um, actionable content that can make um, actionable, actionable education that you can then take that next level with Pinterest. And if you want to get access to the replay for how to do idea pins well, um, all you have to do in my DMs is type the word replay, replay, and you will get that video to be able to learn um, how to do that yourself. I hope you have, hi there. I hope you guys have a great day and rewatch if you missed the beginning of this. Bye guys.